Hi, my name's Ian, call sign 2E0IAJ, and I've got a couple of friends here um, from our technical department uh, to give a nice overview of our fantastic new radio, the IC7300. Hello, I'm Bob, M0KKW, and I'm Chris, GHGKC. So guys, what have we got here? Okay, this, as you say, is a new IC7300. It's a full SDR transceiver. It's a first for ICOM. Um, it covers the HF bands, 6 metres and 4 metres. Uh, 100 watts out on HF and 6, four, uh, 50 watts out on 4 metres. So there's a lot packed inside this radio. There is a lot. Uh, but it's very easy to operate. Uh, it's got a colour screen, colour touch screen uh, and a series of menus which make its operation very simple. So what would you, what would happen if you press one of those buttons? Uh, for instance, if you go to the scope button, you get the band scope, so you're looking across the uh, 40 metre band in this case. And that really is nice and clear? It is. So you've got the uh, scope and you've got the waterfall display. Um, other items on the menu, you've got a audio scope, so you can see the incoming audio waveform and an audio spectrum analyzer. Other items, uh, a meter, you can actually display output power, SWR, ALC, compression, SWR, all on one screen. Uh, this is an RF direct sampling transceiver, that means it's basically an SDR in a box but um, they've managed to integrate the controls in a very convenient user interface format giving you the, uh, the impression that this is just an ordinary analogue set. It's very simple to understand, very easy to use. Um, the dynamic range and phase noise characteristics are class leading. It's got 15 discrete bandpass filters. Um, that gives you maximum immunity to interference caused by anything outside the band you're particularly interested in. And it's got a built-in auto tuner. The auto tuner uh, in its emergency mode is able to cope with mismatches up to sort of 10 to 1 SWR, although in its full 100 watt capacity it's a, it's a normal 3 to 1. Uh, it does give you the facility that you can uh, on occasion use low power and mismatched antennas should you wish to. With the function button pressed we've got the the option of selecting the preamp or the attenuator the agc setting the notch filter noise blanker noise reduction monitor transmit bandwidth compression vox function and also ip plus that's the software equivalent of turning the preamp on and off on a conventional set and, uh, and the conventional menu button We've got the less used functions where you set the thing up from scratch. You've got scope functions, audio functions, voice, meter, SWR, memory, scan, memory pad, record and the basic settings for the set. These are the tone controls on receive and transmit for the different modes. All kinds of settings that you won't regularly use every day. Hey, that, I mean that looks really easy to use. Um, shall we see what it sounds like Bob? Right. Um, this is 40 uh, meters. Noise uh, reduction on. Noise reduction on. The machine, the crikey, um, set the noise reduction level. Hearing, though, really was, um, set the noise reduction level. I find that's usually uh, enough. That's really quite clear, isn't it? Uh, it's outstanding. Noise, noise reduction is, uh, is pretty uh, excellent, yeah. So we've just unplugged the radio and we're looking at the reverse of the radio. Can you tell me a bit about it? Okay, on the back um, you've got your key socket, which is a standard sort of quarter inch jack. You've got uh, send and ALC lines for switching uh, a linear. Um, you've got the four way socket for uh, ICOM remote tuner AH4. Uh, down here you've got extension speaker. Uh, the ICOM remote control CIV socket, uh, a USB-B socket for interfacing with a computer. It's worthwhile noting that the uh, uh, USB also carries the audio both ways, so 
if you want to use it for data you only need one connection the USB connection to your computer uh, there's a 13 pin DIN socket there for uh, audio in out normal analog uh, connections uh, to power plug um, earth bolt and the aerial socket so that's quite clean and organized it is yeah so the 7300 Bob comes with a new hand mic yeah this is the new HM219 microphone hand mic nice soft touch press to talk up and down buttons on the top and from the reports I've been getting with it so far it sounds very very good audio so to sum this up what do you love about this radio you two? I could say everything really I don't yeah. think there's anything that uh, we there's don't nothing like. that we don't like the, the clarity of the received audio and the way the signals pop out of the, the, the band that is quite remarkable so that's a real big thumbs up from you guys if you're interested in finding more about this model uh, do visit our website icomuk.co.uk